I didn't think I was a very good fit for the military. Really where that changed was I had an opportunity to go to Northern Warfare School. And I spent three weeks basically in a tent with a sergeant first class there. He taught me that if you're going to lead in the military, the first thing you have to do is lead yourself. The thing that, you know, that I loved about the military is that it, it was just this mixture of physical and mental and psychological challenges. So I took the approach when I went there of there will be no personal time for myself. If I have a free minute, I'm going to give that to somebody else. I knew if I were to stay in the military that I would go Special Forces because it's sort of made for folks that don't fit that well with the big conventional military. I went through what's called Special Forces Selection. What was fascinating about it is, was that they operated on your mind in a way that few other schools can. Everything there is uncertain. There's no feedback, there's no awards, there's nothing. You're, and then they leave you alone to let your mind work on you. And no matter what you face, you can't tap out. You can't say, I can't do this anymore. Because when you're operating with 12 guys in the middle of an Iraqi city, you can't have someone shut down. I had two deployments to Iraq uh, over 2004 through, through 2006. And I had two incredibly different missions. The first one, I was living in this house, training, leading, advising Iraqis bringing them up from scratch to capture and, and, uh, and kill terrorists. The second deployment was completely different. This was moving from eating, you know, eating with my fingers, eating with Iraqis uh, every day to seeing Americans all the time, eating in these huge chow halls. That was really where the, the, the germ of this idea came from, is I just saw the amount of waste that was occurring over there. And then more than that, the thing that really frustrated me was the lack of a strategy. So for me, I, I knew that we could do better. I knew that um, having somebody with that perspective on the ground would, would bring a, a good voice and a good oversight to military operations. It's one of the reasons why I'm running, is that before we commit our troops again, we need to have an open, honest debate. Not within the executive, but out on the floor in Congress. And we need to have somebody that can speak the language of the military. You know, the selflessness that you learn in the military, I think, is exactly the sort of selflessness that we, we want and we hope that our members of Congress have. That they're not in it for the glory, they're not in it to be reelected, they're not in it for the titles and the positions that they're doing it because they want to serve other people. I'm Tommy Sowers, candidate for Congress, and I approve this message.